Hi, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon to everybody watching on the live stream and watching on the replay. We have uh, a ne one of the you know in interesting film in Cinemalaya 2022. It's called 12 Weeks. And we're talking to uh, direct Sunshine uh, Matutina or, or Ana Isabel Matutina about ano ba tong story na to and what is it all about. My name is Antonias, founder of Our Awesome Planet, and we're awesome live with direct Sunshine. Uh, can you do a short clip? Short Alright, alright, alright. So, uh, Derek, maybe let's, uh, uh, can you introduce yourself? Um, what is this film all about? Why is it called 12 Weeks? And what makes this awesome? Oh, so I'm Ana Isabel Matutina. I'm one of the finalists in the full-length category of the 2022 Cinemalaya Film Festival. Um, 12 Weeks is basically the story of a middle-aged single woman who suddenly finds herself pregnant after breaking up with her boyfriend. And she needs to decide what to do fast. Um, it's, called, it's actually called 12 Weeks because, you know... Um, 12 weeks is like the first trimester. It's the most crucial time in a woman's um, pregnancy. And it's it's usually the window where it's safest to do an abortion to terminate a pregnancy. And it's very crucial also to the growth of of a baby. Like um, there's, there's usually the chance, there's a huge chance of getting miscarried during the first trimester. So... Kaya ginawang 12 weeks din yung title. And I think what makes it awesome is because the film, well, um, talks about motherhood and all its messy aspects. It, um, it talks about the, our very complex, um, relationship with, with the idea, with the concept of motherhood. It shows women in very complex situations. It shows a nuanced portrayal of women. Um, which includes all the struggles that, that women go through in a very patriarchal society. So it also talks about very even polarizing topics like abortion or what is a good mother like or is there such a thing as a good mom or a good mother based on how society tries to impose this role on women, on the modern Filipina especially. So there. All right, let's watch the trailer. Para san ulito? Uh, assessment lang, parang psych eval. Uh, no, don't think of it as counseling, ha. Kwentuhan lang. Baka may mga worries ka or concerns. Hindi ito pa gagawin. All right. Uh, <laughs> galing ni Max Eigerman, uh, Eigerman. So, yeah, question. Very good. Eh, uh, question. Is it more uh, parang a midlife crisis motherhood yung attack niya or it's more of the abortion yung uh, main issue no well Well, it's not that typical type of like what you what normally people see as midlife crisis. Of course, she's in her midlife because she's 40 and it is in fact a crisis. I actually see it more of a uh, like a coming of age, except you're in your 40s. Because, you know, it's... <laughs> <Meron bang ganun, laughs> it's for a 40 year old oh, woman. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's possible. Because the thing is, we expect people in their 40s to be like, um, they've figured everything out, they know what they want. Of course we do, but we also have this very human moment wherein we are very clueless about what to do. We're confused. We're, we also still feel insecure. We also feel unsure about things. So yeah, I wanted so, to portray them as very human. <laughs> a very human. So, saan nang gagawin yung hugot on the mental health issue? Is it uh, more like uh, your per, ex, your own experiences or like a collective experience of people? Well, um, of course, I, I when I wrote this, I was turning 40, no? so there's that. And I was also like coming to terms with with the likelihood of never becoming a mom when I've always wanted to be a mom. But I was turning 40 and I was like thinking, if I did 
end up getting pregnant at the age of 40, would I want it? Would I still want it? Especially in the kind of world that we have now. I mean, that was 2017. That was the second year under the the Duterte administration. It was really awful. I was witnessing a lot of misogyny, like blatant misogyny. Um, and it was very hard um, trying to navigate, you know, being a woman in that kind of world. So um, the, all those things came into play w- while I was writing it. And so, yeah, there are a lot of personal insights, but there are also a lot of stories that came from friends, people I've interacted with. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, from uh, from the trailer, it looks heavy. What was the most di- difficult part in uh, shooting this film? Um, it was very difficult because, um, like I said, it, it's also very personal. So there were times when I would actually get triggered. And I have to, you know, it's so hard. You're, there's this scene which you actually wrote. You know, let's go naman yun eh. But it was hard seeing it again kasi may mga flashbacks eh. But I had to like soldier on. And and the thing is, um, it, we also have a very intimate cast, very small cast. And like Max and Miss Bain were were such a godsend. Um, even they felt the emotional toll. But it, it really proved to be very good for the film as well. So it made the film more than what I envisioned it to be because of the particip- of the collaboration with the actors. Ah, uh, And uh, so after watching this film, um, ano ba? Uh, w- what do you want people to feel or uh, parang uh, take away of people? Kasi tama ba, mabigat ba yung, mabigat yung film? Or how, how would you describe it? And what's the takeaway? Actually, yeah, it is heavy. I, I, I feel like parang like all the films that I do, they're always tragic. But um, I did an effort to make it a little bit lighter. <laughs> Yes, it's heavy, but I still want them to, like, after watching the film, I want the conversation to continue. Conversations um, that talk about the women's issues. I want there to be, to have a safe space for women to to actually um, voice out their own, what they think. Um, because let's we, we need to listen more to women, especially in issues where it is in, I know women are involved. So um, we're so used to to listening to the men because we're used to um, hearing stories about women from men, um, and even watching films through um, through men's eyes. Kahit ako, I had to unpack that. But na parang the way sometimes the way we live our lives are subconsciously being dictated by the men when it's we're we're supposed to like. Un- I think. There's a lot of unpacking to do and unlearning to do um, in the way that we watch films, in the way that we view issues. Um, and I think there needs to be more women um, making films um, and speaking out. And people actually need to listen to them, to the women this time. Oh wow! Uh, this is one of those films that uh, you want to listen to the talkback also, <laughs> and talkback nung. Uh, <laughs> <Kinakabahan ako dun. laughs> <Kinakabahan Okay>. <laughs> but uh, you know, um, one last question. Um, is the film uh, may conclusion ba, may decision ba yung character o bitin siya? or? Um, hindi uh, well. May may ano siya, may conclusion definitely. There is a conclusion, but I always I don't like ending my films in a very clean way. Eh. Like like okay. yung parang everything is tied up together nicely in a ribbon. I don't like that. Eh. So I kind of like open things for more interpretation, for more conversation, for conversations to continue. So while that the story, the narrative arc is con- concluded, meron pa rin akong iniwan na parang parang nudge lang na. Yeah. Di pa tatapos. Parang ganon. <laughs> Alright. Ah, I'm excited to watch it with my uh, wife as well. So, um, can you invite uh, people to watch The Gila Night? When's the talk back? And kailan ba? May run? May cinema run? But or, uh, what, where can they watch this? Um, I, mean, I, I would like to invite everyone to watch 12 Weeks. Um, 
for in, at the Cinemalaya Film Festival happening in, in CCP. So, yung screenings niya, um, the first screening is August 6th. And then, meron then coming three. Um, the gala night is on August 9. And then, I have a talk back on August. The talk back is on August 11 at 5.30 p.m. Tapos, the gala night is on August 9 at 9 p.m. Um, but we are also showing in Ayala Cinemas, August 13 and 16. Tapos, SM Cinemas, August 10 and August 14. So there's uh, a full calendar on the Cinemalaya website. You can check it out if you want to review it and, you know, plot your schedule. All right. Congratulations and good luck. I know this uh, competition also and uh, um, we'll be sure to watch 12 bits. Uh, thank you. Direct- thank you. Thank, thank you thank so you much, Anton. For- yeah. Thank you for everybody watching. Live an awesome life, guys. Uh, can you do a short, a short video?